Let's appreciate him and give him glory. Father, we thank you this evening for bringing us into your presence. We give you honor. We exalt your name. We magnify your name. You are awesome in your ways. You are powerful. There is none like you in all the earth. There is none to be compared with your matchless word. You are the great I am. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. What a privilege. What an honor to come before your presence, to worship before your throne, to give you glory, to exalt your name, to magnify your name. Father, you are awesome in your ways. You are excellent in your ways. You are powerful in your ways. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity we have to be in your presence, to worship you, to adore your name, to glorify your name. Father, Lord, have your way in, our, in your midst in the name of Jesus. Have your way in our midst in the name of Jesus. Let your power flow in this place. Let your power flow in this place. Glorify yourself in the midst of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's quickly turn our Bibles to Psalm 139. Psalm 139. Just give me strings. Psalm 139. Verse 23 to 24. Are we there? 23 and 24 says... Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that the heart of man in Jeremiah, it says the heart of man is what? Desperately wicked who can know it the heart of man is desperately wicked now this passage is saying search me O god know my heart try me and know my thoughts see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way Righteousness, lead me in the way of in the, the in the way of everlasting. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me. Open your mouth and begin to pray this evening. Father, search me, search me, search my thoughts, search my mind, search my imagination. Please let's open our mouths and pray. Let's open our mouths and pray. This is a prayer session. Open your mouth. Let your spirit hear your voice. Father, search my heart, O oh God, and know my thoughts today. Everything, every strange thing that I'm doing that is contrary to your will, Lord, search me. Try my thoughts. Try my heart. See if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the path of everlasting life. Lead me in the path of everlasting life. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, I pray you will search me. Lead me in everlasting life. Lead me in the path of righteousness. Let me live for you. Let me grow in your grace. Let me grow in your knowledge. Let me grow in your will. Lead me in everlasting life. Lead me in the path of righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Lord, this is my heart desire. This is my heart cry. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you will search my thoughts. In the name of Jesus. Purify my heart. 
Make me like prayer. Try me like gold. And precious silver. Purify my heart. Make me like gold. And precious silver. Choose to be holy, set apart for you, Lord. I choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, ready to you, Lord. I choose to be. Lord, I'm ready to do your will. Ready to do your will. Purify my heart. Let it be as gold and precious silver. Purify my heart. Let me like gold. We find a fire. Where was one desire? Is to you holy? Set apart for you, Lord. I choose to be holy. Set apart for you, my master. To do your will. Psalm 139 verse 23 says, Search me, O God. Today our prayer topic says realignment. Realignment. The word realignment is borrowed, is more like an engineering term, which means to bring something back into alignment. It also means to set us in order. Realignment also means adjusting us, changing us to suit a particular purpose, changing our circumstances so that we can, we can come into unity and oneness. So another word for alignment is unity. And the Bible talks about that they may be one even as we are one. Following God and walking in synchronization with Him. So today our first prayer point, thank you Lord for finding me and bringing me into the fold of righteousness. Every prayer must begin with thanks. Before we ask God to do another, let us thank him for bringing us into righteousness. Please open your mouth and pray. Father, bring us into the place of righteousness. As you are playing, be praying. As you are playing, be praying. Father, bring us to the place of righteousness. Bring us into the place of righteousness. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for bringing us into the place of righteousness. Thank you for saving us. Thank you we did not find you. You found us. We did not look for you. You looked for us. We did not search for you. You searched for us. Lord, we thank you that you found us. We thank you that you saved us. We thank you that you went for our souls. You went for our souls and you got us into the kingdom we are grateful oh God that you saved us 
we thank you in the name of Jesus. Let your name be praised. Let your name be honored. Let your name be magnified. In the name that is above every other name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, I pray that you will realign me to your perfect plan for my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Father, I pray that you will realign me to your perfect plan for my life. To your perfect plan for my life. Realign me to your perfect plan for my life. Oh God, adjust me. Bring me back to order. Bring me back to unity. Bring me back to oneness. Bring me back to your divine, your perfect plan for my life. Oh God, perhaps I have trailed. Perhaps I have, I have veered off your path. Perhaps I have gone out of your program, out of your purpose. Lord, I ask that you will realign me. You will bring me, you will bring me into alignment with your divine program, your divine purpose for my life in the name of Jesus. Oh, Kalamande Ribosoto, Liga Tatara Basataribo, Basanda Kataleribo, Intanaba, Vanlinge Sito, Andara Masiketeribo, Zanda da Katarabashi, Lady de Boboshoko Leripo, Landa Rabala Sata, Lady Bobosoto Ripo, Lady Bobosoto Ripo, Landa Sakataraba, Lady Bosoto Ripo. Lady Bosotoreba, Linda Sakatanda Raba, Luke Koshi de Boso, Anda Lake Sekoto, Ede Kotorepo, Landa Ralada. In Jesus' name we pray. There's this song that says, Lord, we confess that we have won that far from your purpose and plans. And willingly walked in the wrong direction. We disobeyed your commands. Father, forgive us. Spirit, come lead us back to the way, back to the truth, back to the food of the cross. Cross the ocean path, lead us along eternal highways. We want to walk in the ways of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Cross the ocean path. Lead us along eternal highways. We want to follow the footsteps of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Lord, it's your mercy and good intention that calls us to your command. Your infinite patience and kind correction. Your covenant love coming true. You are our hope and our salvation. You promise joy. You give us grace and courage to carry the cross. Show us the ocean's path. Lead us along the eternal highways. We want to walk in the ways of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Show us the ocean path. Lead us along eternal highways. We want to follow the ways of Jesus. We want to follow your plan. In Jesus' name. O God of mercy, search and destroy every evil plantings in my life that is distracting me from following your master plan for my life. 
Open your mouth and begin to pray. O oh God of mercy, search and destroy every evil planting in my life that is distracting me from following your master plan. Every evil planting, every evil planting that the enemy has planted into my life, whether intentionally, whether it is as a result of my actions, whether it's as a result of my ignorance, whatever evil plantings that the enemy has planted into my life, Father, in 2021, uproot them. In this season, uproot them. Uproot whatever the Lord has not planted in my life. Whatever has not planted in my business. Whatever the Lord has not planted in my marriage. Whatever the Lord has not planted in my ministry. Whatever the Lord has not planted in my finances. Whatever the Lord has not planted in my health. This season, uproot it. Uproot it. Search and destroy. Search and destroy. Every evil plantings. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that the enemy has shot against me. Lord, this year, the year of realigning me to your divine purpose. I ask, O oh God, that such plantings will be taken out of my life. Such plantings that are distracting me from your master plan. Let it be taken out. Let it be removed. Let it be removed. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. What do we mean by realignment? There are things that may be happening in your life. It is not according to God's plan. The Bible says it is not his will that any should perish. It is not his will that any should be poor. It is not his will that any should be sick. The Bible says is any sick among you, let him call for the elders. Let them pray, laying hands over him, anointing with oil, and he will be healed. There are many things we are tolerating in our life that is not in the master plan of God. I remember many years ago in Abuja, there was a man called Erufai. When he came into office, he brought the master plan of FCT. And any building that is built that is not on the master plan, he uses bulldozer and takes it off. What we are asking the Lord today is that everything, every building, every structure, everything that is in our life that is not in the master plan of God, anything, sickness, disease, poverty, darkness, delay, retrogression, frustration, limitation, lack, anything that is not in the master plan of God, let it be uprooted, search and destroy everything that is not in the master plan of God. Your master plan says I will be healthy. Your master plan says I will be prosperous. Your master plan says I will go up and succeed. Your master plan says I will be the head and not the tail. Your master plan says I will be the victor, not the victim. Your master plan says I will be in health and prosper, not to be sick. Your master plan says I will, any place the source of my feet shall tread, and you have given to me for a possession. Your master plan says that I will be the head and not the tail. Your master plan says every place that the soles of my feet shall tread, you have given me for a possession. Anything that is not in your master plan for my life, search and destroy. Oh God of mercy, in 2021, let there be a realignment in my life. Let there be a realignment in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus, let there be a realignment in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. One of the beautiful things I like about a computer is the fact that you can delete. Many times we do certain things in our system and we realize that, man, this is not what I want. What do you do? You delete it, Father, tonight delete everything that the enemy has deposited in my life. Delete errors that I've made in my life. Delete things that are not in conformity with your divine plan. Any challenge, anything that I have done to myself, that others have done to me, that is constituting a nuisance to my destiny. Father, I ask that you will delete it. Delete it from my life in the name of Jesus. Delete it from my family in the name of Jesus. Delete it from the church of God in the name of Jesus. Delete it from in the name of Jesus. Delete it from your divine purpose, your divine plan in the name of Jesus. Delete everything that is contrary to your will in the name of Jesus. Delete everything that is not in conformity in the name of Jesus. 
delete anything that is not in conformity with your divine plan. Father, in the name of Jesus, I surrender to you. And I ask that, Lord, this year 2021, let there be a deletion. Everything that is not in alignment with your divine purpose, in the name of Jesus. Father, go ahead and put those out everything that is not in your master plan, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, man, in we pray. God of all grace, please open your mouth. God of all grace, release our common grace into my life that will make me follow you seamlessly in 2021. Open your mouth and ask for common grace. The grace of God, the grace of God is what we ask for. The grace of God is what we seek for. Father, release uncommon grace. Release uncommon grace into my life in the name of Jesus. Release uncommon grace. Lord, I ask for your grace. I ask for your grace in the name of Jesus. Release uncommon grace in the name of Jesus. Let there be a release of grace in my life in 2021. Let me be able to follow you seamlessly in 2021. Let me be able to follow you seamlessly in 2021. Let me be able to follow you in 2021 in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that all through this year, let there be a release. Oh, abundant grace, supernatural grace, saving grace, extraordinary grace, radioactive grace, and elevational grace, grace that will take me beyond, sufficient grace, a grace that is abounding in the name of Jesus, that in the year 2021, Lord, I will be able to follow you without anything setting me back, without anything holding me back, without anything taking me out of your will, without anything frustrating me out of your program. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus, mind and name we pray. The Bible says that God is able to make all grace abound towards you. Open your mouth and say, Lord, let your grace abound in my life. Let your grace be surplus in my life. Let there be sufficient grace in the name of Jesus. Let your grace be sufficient in the name of Jesus. In the Bosoto. Oh Jesus, let your grace be sufficient for me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Majesty, Majesty, Your grace has found me just as I am, empty-handed but alive in Your hands, Majesty. Your grace has found me just as I am. Empty hand and put a life in your hands. Sing it, Majesty. Oh, Majesty. Forever. Forever I change my own life. In the presence of your majesty, we are singing majesty. Oh, majesty. Your grace, your grace is fine, just as I am. Empty-handed, empty-handed, in Oh, 
Lord Jesus. Is there only one person is in this house? Lord Jesus, show me mercy in 2021. Keep me from everything that wants to lure me out of your will. When the devil wants to get a person, what he does, he draws you out of the protection of God. Because he knows he cannot catch you there because you are under the shadow of the Almighty. He draws you with temptation. When you come out, then you become a victim. That's why the Bible says, he that breaks the hedge, the serpent bites. The hedge is like a fence. When Satan wants to get to you, and the same thing happens, it is very difficult for you to hear that Amrabah comes to where there's a lot of people. What do they do? They wait at night when people have gone to bed. Then they look for that isolated house so that when they are attacking that person, others will not, will not be able to come. Anytime thief attempt to steal in the market, what happens? When they catch him, you know what happens to him. Before you know it, they put tie around his neck. So the enemy draws you out of the fellowship of brethren, draws you out of prayer life, draws you out of the word of God so that he can get you. We're going to pray this year and say, Lord Jesus, show me your mercy in 2021. Whatever wants to draw me out of your will, keep me from it in the name of Jesus. Keep me from everything that wants to draw me out of your will. In the name of Jesus, Father, I ask in 2021, let keep me from everything that wants to draw me out of your will, out of your will, out of your will. Keep me from everything that wants to draw me out of your will. In the name of Jesus, keep me from anything that wants to draw me out of your will in 2021. I ask, oh God, that I will not be a victim of circumstances. I will not be a victim of the arrows of the enemy. I will not be a victim of the manipulations of darkness. I will not be a victim of all the orchestrations of wickedness. I will not be a victim of the manipulations of the enemy. I will not be a victim of what the devil is planning against my life. Any plan of the enemy against my life will fail this year because your mercy will hide me. Your mercy will keep me. Your mercy will preserve me. Your mercy will protect me. Your mercy will shield me. Your mercy will overflow me. Your mercy will guide me. Father, this, morning, this evening I ask, show me your mercy in the name of Jesus. Show me your mercy in 2021. Keep me from everything that wants to lure me out of your way. Oh God, I ask for mercy. Let mercy prevail in my life. Let your mercy prevail in my life. Let your mercy show forth in my life. Oh God, abundant mercy, supernatural mercy, consistent mercy, extraordinary mercy, tremendous mercy. Let there be a release of the reign of mercy over my life, family, my business, my ministry, my career, everything that I lay my hands upon in the year 2020. Let your mercy stand for me. Let your mercy stand for me. Let your mercy stand for me in the name that is above every other name. Father, I ask for your mercy to stand for me. I ask for your mercy to intervene in my life. I ask for your mercy to prevail in everything that I do this year, 2021, in the mercy, name that is above every other name, that your mercy will prevail in my life. to do your will in 2021 all through this year 2021 lord holy spirit embolden me to do your will in the name of jesus embolden me to do your will all through 2021 let the strength be available let the energy be available let the ability be available the might be available in the name of jesus lord i will do your will I will stand in your way. I will stand for the truth. I will stand to do your program and your purpose throughout the year 2021 in the name that is above every other name. Father, I ask, let your grace be available for me in the name of Jesus through the year 2021. Embolden me. 
Give me strength. Give me power. Give me ability. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. The Bible speaks of John in the book of Revelation that he was he fell as one that as, as though he was dead and the Lord picked him up. The Bible also speaks of Jesus in the Garden of Eden in the Garden of Gethsemane when he was praying that he there was he was sweating and he was weak. The Bible says he was exceeding sorrowful uh, as unto death and then when he was praying an angel appeared to strengthen him. We're going to pray and say Lord this year you will strengthen me. The strength that I need the Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. That means it is not by human strength, not by strength of a man, but by divine strength. Father, strengthen me. Father, empower me. Father, increase me in the year 2021 that I will do things by your supernatural strength. I will not act by my might. I will not act by my own ability. I will not act by my own strength. You will align me to your strength, to your energy. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. I want you to understand that on this earth, men cannot be men without, they cannot be successful without divine assistance, without a supernatural being helping them. That is why you see people, they go to do, uh, they go to do what we call it now, uh, uh, jazz or occultism or, or all those stuff they they do contracts with spirits with with supernatural forces to assist them when you see somebody say i can give you charm a charm is not a natural thing a charm is certain natural elements with spirit into it are you getting my point he said when you put this charm in your shop people customers will be coming and such people because they convenant themselves into those kind of agreement, their soul is already sold out. They cannot go to heaven because they are dealing with the enemy of God. But because we cannot do charm, but we still need supernatural assistance. And God has already made it available in his word. He said, ask of me. Eh? Call upon me and I will show you what? Great and mighty things which thou knowest not. So, don't think that you don't need power. You cannot use your normal intelligence, normal wisdom. Uh, you know me, I'm very intelligent. It will not work on this earth. The people that you are doing business with, they are not using ordinary hands. They are not using ordinary pockets. They have gone to the water side and they have baited them with marine spirit. So, they will excel more than you. But because you have God, the power you have is greater. But it will not just work until you dial the number. Until you dial, until you ask for divine assistance. That is why in 2021, please listen, listen. In 2021, many things will be happening. Another strain of coronavirus is already coming up. And that kind of protection, it is not nose marks that will protect you. Are you listening to what I'm saying? It is not nose marks that will protect you. It is not washing your hand. Those things will help you take care of some jams. But let me tell you, it is it is the divine signature of God on your life that will protect you. The Bible says horses are prepared for battle, chariots, but victory is of the Lord. Many people who were even medical doctors died of COVID-19. They, they, you cannot be more careful than a medical doctor, but yet they died. So they, this year, so many things will happen. Political unrest, spiritual things will happen, economic things will happen. There may be threats of war in different places. But the person who can guarantee your destiny in 2021 is God. He says, I will hide you in my chambers. I will hide you until the destruction is past. I will keep you in the hollows of my hand. Open your mouth and pray and say, Holy Spirit, in 2021, hide me in your will. Hide me in your program. Hide me in your purpose. Let me not be exposed to the arrows of the enemy. Whatever that the enemy wants to bring against my life, this year, let me have victory over them. Let me have victory over all the attack and all the trials of the enemy in the name of Jesus. In 2021, Lord, give me uncommon protection, uncommon preservation all through this year in the name that is above every other name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Can we pray in the Holy Spirit for some time? Open your mouth and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Lega la base katanda rabase kote. Lega tamba teke le de boso tore le rebo. Lenga tapa tale de ke teke le de boso tore le rebo. Manda se ke kota la raba. Lega tapa se ke te rebo. Lega tapa de le de boso tore rebo. Linda kata panda la la raba se te. Lega tapa satari de boko le rebo. Lega tala basa tala bala raba. Landa la raba se kote rebo. Lega tapa satara pa. Lada pasata de reposo, inda katole reposo, lega la raba sete reposo tole po, landa raba la raba sete re de po, landa sakata da pasata da pa, lika ta da, lika toke de po, lika ta ta da pa, inda ta ta da ba sete de po, inda sete de po, le de 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 kasata da ba sata da ba, anda si kote de po shoto. Lika tere boso tere le boso, inga ta 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 ra bala sata, lika ta ta pa sata, manda la da pa sata re pa. Holy Spirit, let there be a release upon us. Let there be a release upon us. Lika ta 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 ra pa, lika sata ra pa, lika tere le bo, lika ta da ra pa sata, kanda ra pa, ruka ta ra pa, la da ra ba sekete, lika da ba soto re po, inda ka ta da ba sho. Landa katara basu, lika baba tatari po. In this year, let there be a release of the spirit that will protect us and preserve us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Our Father, all of heaven, raise your name, sing louder. Sweet praise, can you hear us? A sound of heaven touching us. A sound of heaven touching us. Our Father, all of heaven is your name. Sing louder. Let the angels sing us. Can you hear us? The sound of heaven touching us. The sound of heaven touching us. the Lord for answers to prayer. Begin to thank him for the Lord has listened. Your prayers have been uploaded into the database of heaven. God is responding to the prayers. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. The Bible says this is the confidence that we have. That when, that we, whatever we ask in his name, he hears us and if he hears us, he will answer. Father, we are confident that our prayers have ascended into your presence. And Lord, we are receiving answers right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you because 2021 will be our best year ever. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Let's be seated.
we want to quickly look at um, our devotion. Like I said yesterday, we're going to be taking, um, we will take for the, the third day and then we'll move to, today is 14th. Today is 13th, all right. So we're looking at the potential principle. The potential principle. According to Matthew 13, verse 38, the field is the world and the good seed stands for the sons of the kingdom. To understand your potential, let us look at one of the most powerful elements in nature, the seed. If I held the seed in my hand and asked you, what do I have in my hand? What will you say? Perhaps you will answer what seems to be the obvious. is a seed. However, if you understand the nature of a seed, your answer will, will be fact but not truth. The truth is I hold a forest in my hand. Why? Because in every seed there is a tree. And in every tree there is fruit or flowers with, with the seeds in them. All these seeds also have trees that have fruits that have seeds. That, that have trees that have fruits that have seeds. In essence, what you see is not, at all, is not all there is. That is what potential is. Not what is, but what could be. God created everything with potential, including you. He placed the seed of each thing within itself and planted within each person or thing. He created the ability to be much more than it is at any one moment. Thus, everything in life has potential. Nothing in life is instant. People think miracles are instant, but they really are not. They are just a process that has been sped up. Nothing God created is instant. Because God does not operate in the instant, He is a God of the potential principle. Everything begins as potential. He did not create a ready-made human race. The earth was not given an instant population. God made one person, not a million people. He started with one seed. Then from one, he created another. Then he said to those seeds, bless. That means you have my permission. By being fruitful and multiply. he said be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. In Adam, God gave the earth a seed with a potential of one. One hundred, one thousand, one million. The five billion people on the earth today were in one man's loins. God knew that Adam and Eve that were enough people God knew that in Adam and Eve there were enough people to fill the earth. That's the way God works. He knows that the potential principle because he introduced it. It is in him. God created everything with potential, including you. Praise the Lord. Did you hear that? Very powerful. If God does not work, he doesn't do instant miracles. What does he do? Process. Are we listening? What God does is process. He doesn't start, bam. He gives you one, and then from one, another comes. God could have filled the earth with seven billion people, but he put a man and his wife, and he asked them, go ahead and be fruitful. When you think God will turn you to overnight millionaire, you are dreaming. God does not work that way. What God does, he gives you an idea, and he expects you to work that idea. In that idea is your millions. In that idea is your billions. If you don't do anything, that's your lot. If you do something with it, it begins to what? Multiply. It begins to replenish. It begins to increase until it what? Fills the whole earth. Dangote started his, his factory or his company in Kano. I don't know what year he started it. He did not start in the whole Nigeria. From that place, he started moving, before you know it, office in Lagos. Before you know it, in Port Harcourt, all over the nation. After Nigeria, he has moved to where? Ghana. He has moved to East Africa. Different parts of the world. That is the same way God operates. People of the world are taking the principles of God and are using it. But we believers are busy praying. Father, make me a billionaire. Let me see money on the ground so I can become rich. You will not see money on the ground. The money is inside your head. You will need to do something so that that money comes out. Praise the Lord. This is very powerful so we can take our time to look at it again and again today is uh, 13 right 
So we look at God's imagination. Okay, no, I think his spoke was hard work. My own hands laid the foundation of the earth. My right hands spread out the heavens. When I summon them, they all stand up together. Isaiah 48 verse 13. Everything we see has, begin, has been. It became visible when God spoke it into being. God is the source of life. What happened when God spoke at creation? How did God, how did he get the invisible to become visible? First, let me broaden your idea of the word spoke. Spoke was a process. Did you see the word process coming up again? Process, process, process. Nothing happens instant. Everything is a process. A woman who is impregnated today does not give birth tomorrow. But the seed has been planted. What happens? You may even see her for the next two weeks and not even know that she's pregnant. After a while, she begins to pour spit and begins to do certain things. And the next thing, her tummy begins to come up. And it continues until it's a process. Tell me one thing that you think God is doing on the earth today that is not a process. Tell me one. None. How do we think that we can come and pray those kind of prayer that people pray that don't understand God's system? Oh, Father, transform me to a billionaire. Do you have the idea to manage a billion? If they give you a billion right now, you go and look for iPhone that is one billion naira to buy. Praise the Lord. God doesn't waste resources. Spoke was a process. God spoke into visibility. What God spoke into visibility began as an idea in his mind. Did you hear it? Where does idea begin? Huh? Where does idea begin? If I watch you, I even play right now. It's in your mind. If I hold the same keys now, you will hear something else. Are you seeing it now? Everything starts from the mind. I don't want to. I don't want us to just feel that because we have fasted and prayed, miracles will just happen overnight. It doesn't happen like that. This is the reason why most Africans are poor. We go to church more than even the Western world. Every day, oh, Father, are you going to leave me like this? I'm your son, no. Don't frustrate my life. Oh. God is looking at you say, the Chinese people understand my principle. You, you are just reading the Bible upside down. Praise the Lord. Until we take responsibility for our life, nothing will change. God spoke into visibility. What God spoke into visibility began as an idea in his mind. God first conceived in his mind what he wanted to create. He didn't just say, I want this. The prophet Isaiah tells us that God created the earth by first planning its foundation. Isaiah 48 verse 13. After the plans were in his mind, God spoke them into existence. What God, when God was ready to speak, it was just a matter of taking what was in the plan and putting it on the site. Spoke was a process. God laid the groundwork for the earth and spread out the heavens. He created the sun to shine during the day and the moon and the stars to shine at night. He gave every star a name. He ordered clouds to fill the sky and breezes to blow. He made the waves to roar in the sea. He sent rain to water the earth and grass to cover the hillside. Thunder and lightnings were created by his command. Hail and sleet were formed by his word. A wool-like blanket of snow he produced for winter. Frost and dew he designed. Everything God created, he thought about it. This year, 2021, if you want to be successful, think about what you want to do. The next step, write it down. Let the vision be plain. When you write it down, you will know where you need assistance and you will take the right step. This year, I trust God that by this time next year, 2022, there will be millionaires in this house. In the name of Jesus. Uh, honestly, I want to see young millionaires. You know the problem with an old man becoming a millionaire or a billionaire? He's about to die. <laughs> There's no much use. <laughs> That's the problem. When you see a man who is 80 years old walking like this and they say he has billions, you know that he's not the one to eat it. How much food can that man eat? You give him a bar, they say he cannot eat a bar. That, uh, this one is happening. Meat he cannot eat because he doesn't have teeth. All his money is not for Even the car, he can't drive it. His driver that will be enjoying the car. All the time, the man is on, sitting on... Uh, <laughs> so we want young people. Young people, 
like you to begin to use your brain when we pray like this when we fast like this you know what happens the heavens are open ideas begin to flow but you need to position your head to receive the ideas and then you think about it as we pray like this don't think that you are going outside one one uh, cbn trailer will tumble and the money will fall on the ground <laughs> and then you pack it if you see that kind of money don't go there because i mean we'll, i mean we shoot you <laughs> praise god that's don't think that somebody will be transferring money and mistakenly instead of writing two you now write three you enter your account bank will trace you <laughs> it is your ideas you will you will take your laptop and you will start coding the software and somebody will price that software millions and you make money nobody will arrest you because it's purely your idea praise the lord you will think of something god is going to give you an idea that's what this prayer does the heavens are open ideas are raining down you position your head and receive it and that will be your portion in jesus name this time next year there will be millionaires in this house praise the lord let's rise up as we share the grace we have our, our fasting and prayer continues tomorrow today was our third day tomorrow will be our fourth day and then we have fifth sixth and seventh and like you know for those of you on our whatsapp platform you'll be getting these materials be a part of what god is doing it is a painful process to stay away from food but believe you me if you can make this investment you will reap the dividends in this year in the name of jesus praise the lord let's stand up and give god praise thank him for answers to all the prayers and thank you for the word that has been released this evening father thank you for the word that has been released we thank you because you are so interested in our welfare that you are feeding us with the word giving us right thinking thoughts things put on our minds so that we can take the right actions in 2021 as we pray and the heavens are open ideas are being sent down and we will receive them we will take the responsibility we'll do something with the ideas that you're giving to us and as we take actions we will move as we take actions we will see you move in the name of jesus thank you for answering our prayers in jesus mighty name we pray shall we